I remember um, being fascinated by the old newsreels, all to do with the war and post-war, and particularly seeing a newsreel um, that uh, was shot um, with these girls being punished in, in France after the Germans were pushed out for being the girlfriends of German s soldiers. And it fascinated me because it was brutal. I felt um, so badly for these girls whose hair were being shorn off their heads and they were being uh, pushed through the streets and people were throwing things at them. And it was quite riveting for a kid. So I held on to that germ of an idea all my life. And because I ended up in the theater and, and screenwriter and, and, and things, I, I just never had the right form for it. But uh, when I turned to novel writing, and after Midnight Cab got me going, and I wanted to try another novel, then I wanted to go right back into the, where my psyche begins, my writer's material begins, I should say. And, and uh, so I tapped into that story. I think I was trying to explore the, the whole idea of transgression because uh, the obvious one is, is her transgression, falling in love with a, a German soldier. But then uh, once she makes that fateful decision, and she makes it, I think, for all the good reasons, you know, she's, she's young and she's idealistic, she falls in love, he's a great guy, all the rest of it. And uh, then everybody begins to transgress on her in a way, you know. And so it's sort of an, an exploration of, of what we do to each other, I think. The other narrative that runs through it, which is the policeman trying to solve uh, a murder. It somehow seems connected, but we don't know how. And as the novel progresses and he gets closer to what happened to this person that he's found dead, and who did it, uh, it becomes very obvious that it certainly has something to do with this girl we first met in love with a German in France. Because mysteries, usually by their very nature, plot heavy. And and you know where you're going, and you've got lots of little tricks up your sleeve, you know, cards to play, little red herrings, and this and that. Sometimes you find, at least I found when I was doing my mysteries, that you're sort of moving characters more on a chessboard than you are from any inner motivation that might come from them. And so what I certainly try to do is, is let the characters do what the characters would do, and then work the mystery around what they're doing. And I think it has more resonance that way. I think the book itself is, is sympathetic all around. You know, it's just about talking about human beings caught in these situations.